Hey guys, how's it going? Vanilla here. I got a, uh, a new video series I'm going to start here and a little bit of an introduction to it. Uh, we started playing MLB The Show again. You know, we took many years off, just didn't have time to play the games. And instead of getting into Diamond Dynasty, uh, we decided to run a couple franchises this year. And in the franchises, we're doing a Cleveland Indians major league roster, which has been a lot of fun. But we're also jumping into some minor league baseball. And one of the things I noticed is the game does not have any minor league baseball stadiums that I'm aware of that are real. They have a bunch of fake stadiums. So I thought it would be neat to jump in here and create some actual minor league stadiums. And the franchise we're doing is the Double A Montgomery Biscuits, because who doesn't love a baseball team named the Biscuits, right? And if you go through the schedule, they're in the uh, Southern League. So we'll, we're going to create some stadiums. Now, real quick here, I want to give a, a quick shout out to a guy by the name of Original Alex 819 I started looking in the vault for some stadiums that were already created. And this guy has gone through and done, I think, over 60 stadiums maybe. He, he has done pretty much set up a blueprint for almost all the minor league stadiums. The guy has put tons and tons of work into it, like months of his life. I actually reached out to this guy on Reddit and we had a, a you know a private conversation there on DM. And I just, you know, I wouldn't say, dude, good job. Like, you know, you did a great job getting these stadiums started. And we talked a little bit and he kind of told me what it was about. And he's a minor league baseball fan. He was just doing this and putting them in the vault for free because, hey, minor league baseball fans should have nice things too, right? So what I'm going to do is take some of his designs and tweak them fine-tune them to really, really duplicate the look of the real stadium because you'll see, I'm going to get into it here in just a second. And, you know, he didn't, instead of him spending 10 hours on a stadium, he spent like five, right? And he got the base of it right. He got the buildings in the right place. He got things to where they should be, but he didn't spend that extra time on each stadium to make it uh, a, like one-to-one -one perfect relationship to how it actually is in real life and that's what I'm going to do. So our first stadium that we're going to kick the series off with is the Montgomery Biscuits Riverwalk Stadium in Montgomery, Alabama. So let's jump into it right here. So here's the stadium. This is Alex stadium right here and there's a real life picture in the top right corner you can see he did a great job i mean the guy really set it up nice and i'm going to show you a few things here uh that we're going to ch tweak and we're going to to change here uh the right side looks great the back of the stadium and the road and everything i really like it he did a good job of, of capturing that now here in left field you'll see we're, we're missing some things uh, there's not a restaurant there. There's no like picnic table area. The light right there is technically the wrong kind of light. Uh, I like the trees here. He did a good job grouping. And you'll see we got concrete, but then it switches over to sand. And I talked to him about that, and he, he didn't like the color. That's why he did that. Now, th the scoreboards are a big problem. We were playing in a game, and if you hit a scoreboard, it counts as a home run. That's no good. We've got to remove the scoreboards off of the wall because of that reason. Uh, same thing with the scoreboard and the lights there. That's not 100% correct. I do like what he did for the train tracks. That's actually the top of a building he put down in the ground, and it makes it look like train tracks. That was a smart move there. So um, as you can see, the stadium, he's got uh, like a snack shack there. It's kind of playing back behind the, the batter's eye. I believe there's some actual seats. If you'll notice, there's actually a biscuits, like a biscuit stand there in real life. We're going to add that in. Uh, I like what he did with the awning area right there in the, uh, the, the crowd. That looks really well. Um, but once again, this over here is all uh, uh, sand. And the, the problem is when you hit a home run and you hit it, it just goes plop and stops in the ground. So we're going to change this all over to concrete like it should be. Uh, we're going to fix this light post here. It's not the proper style. And a big problem here is you'll see we're missing the American flag. Can't, can't have, we're, in, we're at Montgomery, Alabama. How do you not have the flag out there, right? So we're, we're going to do a few things here and, and really make this look like the real life Riverwalk Stadium. And as you can see here, I'm spinning around. Uh, overall, like I said, he did a fantastic job. I am by no means saying he did a bad job. He did a great job, but he, he didn't spend that extra time to give it the scale, that one-to-one -one scale to real life. And that's what we're going to do here. The dimensions and everything are great, though. Fantastic. So let's get into it. Here's my field. Here is the new vanilla-ized Riverwalk Stadium in Montgomery, Alabama. So as we look here, you might think, well, there's not much change, but let's get into it. 
So we've got the restaurant over here now. As you can see in real life, there's a restaurant there. I put a little picnic area out where the people can sit, eat their nachos and, and, and hot dogs and whatnot. And if you notice, that's all concrete now. We fixed that, we removed the sand, we turned that into a concrete area all the way around. And uh, uh, we still got the train tracks right there. And as I go up a little bit higher here, there we go. I turned the train tracks into the V. There's actually multiple sets of train tracks. And as you can see, I fixed that. I brought the V back, I put the bushes, I even put the pond over there, there's water. You can kind of see that in a real life picture a little bit. So unfortunately it's in foul ground, it, it's not unfair. Uh, so we got the nice train tracks coming down to a V, we've got the water section, we fixed the concrete, we did remove the scoreboards off the wall, we had to. Oh, I wanna show you guys something here. I have no idea, excuse me, sorry about that. For whatever reason, there is a little naked baby prop. Don't know what MLB The Show is thinking, but I am put that there because I want to hit that baby in the face with a home run. Anyway, that was a distraction there. All right, so we're going to get back onto the stadium there. All my stadiums are going to have that little naked baby somewhere so we can hit it with the ball. Um, so what we did here with the actual scoreboard, as you can see, we made it look like the real one. Now, I put in buttery biscuits over across the top. That was just a little art artistic endeavor there I did. Um, since we took the scoreboard off of the wall because it was causing an issue, I put it up on the bottom of there. It's the actual moving scoreboard on top of that. Now, this is a glitch. See those blue? I put the blue. I'm trying to fix it here, and I loaded this up multiple times. That's actually like blue padding and when you download the stadium it might look like this but you'll see here later in the video it's all blue don't worry about it there's not an issue with it for whatever reason when you load it up it doesn't show at all i don't know why but at any rate we've got the b on top just like real life we fixed the wall we've made the scoreboard look more genuine to how and you can only do what you can do now here's the thing the light as you can see should be over to the right more but you cannot put a light in in front of the batter's uh like by the batter's eye it, it'll say no go so you can't put the light there now we've added the biscuits and we've added this nice little restaurant, which looks really good. It's got like that tin awning that looks just like the real life one. We put some concessions back there, ice cream stands, some nachos and whatnot. And on the right side here, as you can see, we've totally paved this over. We got rid of the sand. We got the proper light in and we added the American flag uh, right here on the right and all the proper uh, like pavement walk area including like little picnic area and some trees and whatnot just like it should have been I kind of reconstructed that whole right area to match real life and as we zoom out you can see it's looking pretty good like you might think that's ah, just a couple changes well that's a, a lot of hours put into just that right there so you can understand why Alex didn't spend 20 hours of his life on one stadium because a lot goes into this guys it really does now, oh, well, I, I really like this back here, and we're going to do Home Run Derby. I, I'm bringing up uh, Mark McGuire and King Griffey Jr., a lefty and a righty, so we can hit some home runs. You can see what's going on here. Uh, but, yeah, this is really cool. It's a neat feature that's in MLB The Show. Now, it wasn't in it when I was playing. I haven't played this game in about four years. We got back into it in 24 here, and I really like the stadium creator. We're going to go through the MILB South, the, the, the Southern there as Mark McGuire starts dropping bombs. And we're going to like, uh, I believe next up will be the Biloxi Shuckers is coming up next. And as we go through our schedule, uh, we'll finish these stadiums. And here's the best part for you guys, they're free. So I've dropped this in the vault. All you need to do is search for the online ID Vanilla Beast. I'll put this in the description and you'll be able to see all of my uploads. There are some um, logos in there I've done in the past because I did have a logo service business. Uh, a lot of you guys bought uh, logos off me and these stadiums will be for free. Obviously we're not charging money for this. We're doing it because I enjoy doing it as McGuire drops an absolute bomb across the train tracks and the trees. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to play home run derby uh, with these guys in here. I was actually trying to do hard with McGuire. I was swinging early, trying to hit it in the trees over there to show you guys. And I was kind of off my game there. But at any rate, uh, this has been a lot of fun. We got a lot more of these coming up. And if you got any suggestions or, or any comments about anything uh, uh, as far as these go, or if you've got... Uh, uh, any kind of like a suggestion on this video series or maybe a stadium you'd like to see me do. Like I said, this I am very busy, yeah, you know, with what I'm doing now with the Vanilla Gaming Company. 
uh, which is the channel you are on here and everything else going on so this is something i do in my spare time which i don't have a lot of but i enjoy doing you know i like creating these uh, uh stadiums and logos too for that matter and this is something we'll do here as we, we kind of move forward. So, all right, guys, if you'd like, you can watch the rest of this home run derby. Big Mac going up against Griffey. And like I said, if you, you're a baseball fan, we are doing a Alabama Biscuits franchise all season long and a Cleveland Indians Major League, the movie roster with Willie Mays and Pedro and Jake Taylor and all them guys. So we're having a lot of fun with MLB The Show 24. Uh, this year. Stop on by a stream, say hey. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the rest of the Home Run Derby, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah. 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 Yeah.